Hi again. Uh, this is another healthcare related uh, topic. I was practicing in Houston in the 80s, and uh, this is embarrassing. Okay, this is really embarrassing. Uh, uh, one of my patients came in, a gay man, and he was uh, emotionally upset, and I uh, was working on him. I said, What's going on? He said, Charles is dead. And he started crying, and I said, um, From what? And he said, AIDS. This is a true story. I hate to tell on myself. I was not keeping up with the current diseases, I guess, of gay people. And I said, those little diet candies? <laughs> I don't know if you remember them. They were called AYDS, and they were an AIDS dieting, and uh, they were flavorful, so fat people thought that they, I don't know how they work, but um, <clears throat> it obviously wasn't the right answer. He didn't AIDS himself to death. Um, so the man on the table <laughs> looked at me and said, read your fucking Newsweek. <laughs> so I did. Uh, looked it up pretty quickly after that, uh, and uh, the epidemic went racing through uh, Houston. A lot of people died, uh, and it was quite a scare. Uh, whoop, 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 uh, keeping you on your toes and stuff. Oh, my God, everybody has AIDS, so oh, I think she has AIDS, I think he has AIDS. Uh, but as I looked at the disease, I realized that it was appropriately named uh, Autoimmune Deficiency Syndrome. Okay, the auto autoimmune systems of everybody that I worked on were deficient. And to blame it on a virus, I looked and thought, I don't, I, it doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, there were people, there was one of my clients, one of my patients who came in, and we um, were just the most unlikely person to get AIDS. I mean, kind of a homely little guy, had his own business. Uh, he and his wife were like hobbit homely people. Uh, I can't imagine him having sex with roosters or anything uh, other than his wife because they were real... Uh, devout Christians as well, <clears throat> and he came back, he'd done an AIDS test, why in heaven's names he would have done it, except for the fear factor, whoop, 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 um, that, uh, and it came back positive, and he was absolutely devastated, he said, there's no way I can have this, there's no way, uh, and I don't think he did have it, uh, he may have tested up for a virus that was similar to one that people, that some people who have AIDS have, but I don't think that AIDS is a viral-driven disease. Maybe viroid, which is a man-made virus, uh, but uh, it, there's just too many things. I, I said for years, this is an appropriately named disease, but the etiology is, I don't think it's the right etiology. I don't think they found it. But if the medical establishment cannot find a reason for a disease, they call it a virus, because you can't see a virus, you can't prove a virus, you can find a virus. I guess you can see it. But... Uh, they uh, blame it on this little viral thing, and then it becomes easy. They can create a something to try to kill the virus, which usually makes the person weaker. But anyway, that's just my rant on AIDS. I was thinking about that the other day. I don't know why, uh, but uh, I know it's worldwide. I know it's epidemic. I know that, and I I think that again that it's it's a that people are pushing their immune system so completely uh, to where it just breaks down and they can't recover from real simple stuff, and. Uh, that's just my take on it, www.micbeakperformance.com.